Hey guys, and yeah, they are still hammering away right here in Durham, uh, right behind me. They've been out here all day in the heat of the sun, and it can be pretty rough out there, and there's not that much protection. It's why many want to see more protections at the state and national level. From construction sites to trucks to farms, it's getting hard to beat the heat. Rick Armstrong with the Teamsters Union says some of his drivers have even gotten sick. Heat exhaustion and just working long hours and it's just physically demanding on them to work so many long hours in such heat. So it's a, it's a stressful job uh, and, and such physical conditions in this heat. It's, it's not good for their health. The union now voting on new contracts for UPS drivers. One of the key sticking points including AC in the cabin of the trucks, but he says more should be done. Well, I think there absolutely needs to be more guidelines, state and, and federal level, uh, because it is getting hotter. One group representing farmers is launching a social media campaign urging the North Carolina Department of Labor to implement heat safety standards across the state. Their main ideas, access to shade and free cool drinking water, mandatory paid cool down periods, comprehensive heat stress prevention program, and annual training for employees. And these aren't like new things. These are things that have been recommended by health and safety experts, scientists, union leaders, and workers for decades. So that's what we're working on. We talked with one farm worker in Wilson. He tells us while he's always been given enough water and breaks in the Carolina heat at his job, at other sites, people simply power through. Sometimes people just decide to put up with the heat and just take the risk because they don't want to lose out on the job or their money for the week. Yeah, and uh, the data shows there may be some of that suffering in silence. We reached out to the North Carolina Department of Labor officially since April. There have been 166 total complaints about heat. Interestingly enough, zero of them uh, were from agricultural workers, but uh, clearly, uh, anecdotally, that is a concern, as you just heard right there. The biggest complaint that they hear uh, is from workers not having enough AC in their buildings when they're at work. Steve? Yeah, it can be uh, very dangerous out there for, uh, for so many people. Tom George in Durham tonight. Tom, thanks for looking into that. And